So here's uh, another story that people will say I'm an anti-vaxxer because I present a fact that happens. And, uh, you know, there has to be a lefty critique of the establishment's COVID handling and their vaccine rollout. And people resigned from the FDA over the booster shots. Just that person who was in charge of vaccines at the FDA resigned over the booster shots. And here's a story about those booster shots. Uh, this comes from uh, 95.3 WBCKFM, Town Square Media Inc., WBCK. It says Saginaw Township School closed last Monday. Schools closed last Monday due to reactions to COVID booster shot. Okay, so here's a here's a video. Here's a uh, and by the way, uh, uh, here's a video f- about it from a local news station. Let's watch it was something other than COVID-19 that forced the one Saginaw County School District to close their doors today. Wow. Oh, it was something other than COVID-19? Hmm. What could it be? Either white supremacy or misogyny or transphobia. Those are my three guesses. <laughs> Let's see the real reason. Saginaw Township Community Schools closed for today. At first, you might be thinking COVID-19 is to blame. But a district spokesperson tells me a large number of staff members had negative reactions to the COVID-19 booster they received over the weekend. Now, according to the CDC, some of the most common side effects of the Pfizer and Moderna COVID booster are pain at the injection site, fatigue, muscle pain, headache, and fever, also the chills and nausea. For the J&J booster, the CDC says fever, fatigue, and headache were some of the more common symptoms. Recent data from the CDC shows among 12,500 people who received a third dose of the COVID-19 vaccine, 79% reported those local reactions like pain and itching at the injection site, while 74% reported the systemic reactions like muscle pain and fatigue. Okay, so that was, uh, so here's the, here's the official response. First of all, It was the booster shot. I owe Steph $30,000. I bet big. I didn't think it was the booster shot. (laughs) I was so sure it would be one of those other three things I said. I was putting my money on uh, sexism. (laughs) Don't worry. I'm going to win it back when Kamala gets the Democratic 2024 presidential nomination. No, you won't. That's right. And we'll see who can accept reality, Steph. Uh, for the record, COVID is to blame. What, what with this being a COVID booster? So is it called a booster because it boosts the number of staff sick days? I'm not a pharmacist. I don't know. Is that why? Uh, by the way, whoever put up that TikTok video, I do find it suspicious. I mean, I wonder if, what was Vladimir Putin up to last Monday? <laughs> is that what he was doing? He has, has, has his whereabouts been accounted for? Because that's who I think did that TikTok video. So here's an actual last month. Uh, so this is what the Saginaw Township Community Schools put on their, out uh, following the news release on their website. STCS schools closed Monday, November 8th. All Saginaw Township schools will be closed today, Monday, November 8th, due to a staffing shortage. What? Why is there a staffing shortage? There's a staffing. Well, there's a substitute teacher staff shortage across the state, further complicating the staff. Why is there a staff shortage? Uh, It says it right there, too. So it says uh, staff members will not report child care and after school programs, including swim school, are canceled. The Board of Education meeting will take place. The Board of Education meeting will take place. A large number of our staff had a negative reaction to the COVID booster shot given at a voluntary clinic over the weekend, resulting in absences today. There is a substitute teacher staff shortage throughout the state, further complicating the availability to cover the absences. So there's a substitute staff shortage across the state. Why is there a shortage? Is it because they fired everybody who wouldn't take the jab? I'm going to have a hard time not laughing about this all day. Isn't it ironic that they're getting the boosters so they don't have to close down schools due to COVID, yet they have to close down the school due to the boosters? That, come on, that's funny. That is funny. 
And why is there a substitute teacher staff? I don't know. My joke, my joke answer is because they fired everybody who refused the booster. That's my joke answer. I don't know why there really is. Boy, I hope no one tells MBC, MSNBC's Joy Ann Reed about this. 70, well, first of all, the CDC reported the following. 12,591 V-safe registrants who completed a health check in the survey after all three doses of an mRNA COVID-19 vaccine, 79% and 74% reported local or systemic reactions, respectively. So 74% of the people who got the dose reported bad reaction other than just arm pain. After the third dose, 77% percent reported arm pain 76 reported local or systemic reactions after the neck second dose respectively wow so that's a lot of people reporting that's wow that's high uh why do you why do you think that they got had those bad reactions if you ask jo joy ann reed she'll tell you it's because they're racist just like she said about Eric uh, Clapton. Eric Clapton had a bad reaction to the vax, and he talked about it. She called him, <laughs> he's racist. That's, that's their flex. There's 76% of the people in Saginaw saying that. Wow. Why else would the boosters be causing a negative reaction? Science tells us it's racism. Uh... And by the way, in light of this news, I think the heads of the vaccine approval department at the FDA should probably step down. Oh, wait, they already did that weeks ago because they felt it was unethical to push boosters on healthy adults under 60 without comorbidities. Well, that's not what Jen Psaki told me. Uh we do know that the head of the vaccine department at the FDA stepped down over the Biden's administration pushing the boosters. We do know that as a fact. Uh, and you know the worst part about this whole thing is Saginaw was where Gavin Newsom took his family to enjoy Halloween together. And he abruptly disappeared for 10 days right after his booster shot. Isn't that something? I'm kidding. <laughs> this is, I'm kidding. That's misinformation. I love Gavin Newsom. You know that. The guy just didn't want to miss another family Halloween. You know that. So there it is. There's a, I don't know what to make of that, uh, but I thought that was an interesting story. And uh, they had to close down schools. And by the way, uh, did you know Saginaw is not that far? It's 30 miles away from Flint. Flint, Michigan. What the F? What is it with the trickle-down effects of widespread corporate and government corruption always hitting that area? Oh, right. There's a lot of poor people there. That's what that is. Maybe Obama could compassionately head out to Saginaw like he did to Flint. Remember when he showed up and uh, pretended to drink the water? Right, right, right. Maybe he should go out and pantomime getting a booster shot for the camera in Saginaw. Well, I feel my original Pfizer shot wearing off after six months. Would uh, anyone happen to have a clean, safe syringe, a booster shot? Well, oh, mm, that's refreshing. Saginaw booster. Okay, see ya. And he runs to a helicopter. <laughs> Let's look at the positives. For the kids, it was a free day. It was like a snow day, right? That's, that's, what, that's how I want to look at it. That's how I choose to look at it. Hey, come see us do a live stand-up show in Portland, Oregon, the 26th and 27th of November. That's Thanksgiving weekend. See you there. And please join our premium program. Get a lot of extra stuff. We'll talk to you later.